I know a lot of you guys are very excited about the recent announcement from the Mayfax for the Captain Marvel from the Avengers Endgame, but is it really that good? Is it really that good? Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm DCSG81 and welcome to another comparisons whereby this time is involving the SH Figuarts Captain Marvel from the Avengers Endgame versus the Mayfax Captain Marvel from the Avengers Endgame as well. Before I start the comparison, there are a few disclaimer that I would like to mention here. So I uh, get a lot of message that some of you guys are actually asking why do I do a comparisons when the figure is not even out yet? Yep, I know it is uh, unfair to Mayfax because they have not released the figure yet. But um, the purpose of the comparisons is I will actually use the actual figures which have been released like the SH figures to compare with or at least mimic the prototype pictures from Mayfax and compare it side by side so that it will help some of you guys who are still indecisive whether to get it or not so this is the main purpose of this comparison is to help you guys to see what's the difference between both of it yeah so i do know that <laughs> some of you may argue that um the final product from mayfax may be even better than those pictures but yep that's true because it's out of my control how they will actually improve or they will just keep it that way but at least some comparisons that i made now might help you guys you know to do some decision whether to wait for the mayfax or just get these ones so without further ado let's get started with the comparison by looking at the first pictures that i have made okay so on your left is actually from the sh figures and the right one is the prototype pictures from mayfax in these pictures i would like to point out the height differences between both of the figure because like in the toy news i actually says that this mayfax captain marvel does look very long it's like he's being pulled longer and i have checked the army army product informations that actually mentions that the Mayfax one will be around 15 centimeter tall and I did measure this SH Figuarts one as you can see on the pictures she's only a little bit shorter than 15 centimeter around 0 0.5 centimeter maybe yep so the Mayfax one may be just slightly taller than her She's not that bad. The next picture shows some comparisons on her back. Um, it looks pretty much the same except there is some patterns on the Mayfax which is not existent on the SH Figuarts ones. <music> this next picture shows some poses and from here I do notice that the blue that the Mayfax used is slightly more darkish as compared to the one from the SH Figuarts so I actually do some you know reference to the movie and it's very very hard to see the blue because the last battle for the end game happens at night <laughs> it's kind of hard to see and also this girl is mostly glowing all the time so it's rather hard to see with all the glows around her so I actually refer to the Hot Toys version because usually Hot Toys is pretty accurate when it comes to the design and it also shows that she kind of have the same blue as this SH Figuarts and the Mayfax one is I think is uh, too darkish and this next picture shows some flying poses from her and in this picture as well you can see the Mayfax shoulder blue here is <laughs> like a lot more darkish than it should be and for this next picture she actually comes with some effects but unfortunately the SH Figuarts Captain Marvel doesn't have any effects for her arms yep so there's only effects for her legs that's why i only put it on her legs as you can see and the same goes for this next picture whereby she doesn't have the effects that is coming out from her hand from the mayfax versions but she just comes with a fireball from the sh figuarts as well and this next picture shows both of them are having the fireball with different color and this time i would like to know which color is actually more screen accurate to the movie so i actually find out from this scene yes from here you can actually see if you take note on her hands it is actually glowing in blue so this makes the sh figuarts one more accurate as compared to the mayfax 
notebook. And in this picture, you'll see all the accessories from Mayfax as well as from the SH Figuas. Of course, the Mayfax has always been very generous when it comes to the accessory. And lastly, my personal favorite is the comparison on her face, okay? I will not be comparing on the Mayfax face, which have the cute puppy eyes, but I'll compare with this one because the SH Figuas only have one head, yep, which is this one, of course. So you can see, um, if you were to ask me by looking at these pictures, I would say that the SH Figuas one does bear more resemblance to the Brie Larson's, yep, but at the same time, if I were to compare it, with the actual actress itself, I would say both the SH Figuas and the Mayfax have no resemblance to the actress at all. The major disappointment from the Mayfax is they are missing out the popular mole on the Brie Larson face near her eyes. Yep, the SH Figuas one does have it and the same goes for the even the Marvel Legends have the mole as well. So, how can you miss that Mayfax? So that's all for the comparisons. Um, I would like to say is that for myself, um, the SH Figuas one is, I think it's good enough for me because first of all, I do think that she looks very, very nice and the lightness is actually better than the Mayfax, at least that's from my point of view. But for those of you who have not gotten any Captain Marvel at all and you're thinking whether you should go for this one, or wait for the Mayfax, I would say that you should grab her if you have seen her anywhere else at a very good price of course because she is a web exclusive and uh, she was pretty expensive I'm not sure what's the price for her now but if you like to hear the good things about Mayfax of course is the amount of accessories they have given and also it comes with two interchangeable heads as well with different expressions and another good thing about her is she's only going to be released next year april so you have lots of time to think about it provided that there's no delay from mayfax again okay so that's all for this comparison i do hope that it gives you some insight and also some you know pointers for you to consider whether which one should you get so do give me a thumbs up if it do help you and also i'd like to hear from you what do you think about the mayfax and the shv was captain marvel which one do you think uh, have the better likeness uh better accessory of course it's from mayfax uh better costume design everything else i'll let to hear from you do drop me your thoughts down in the comment sections below and while you're still around i hope you'll check out my playlist at the top right corner and also do browse around my channel i have over 660 videos by now and i'm pretty sure there will be something that you are interested on i will see you again in my next video as always take good care of yourself and thank you for watching bye